Okay, I'm going to quickly show you in about about eight steps or so how to make a duct tape webinar all for free, including chat bar where the interact the the people that are on your webinar can interact with you but can't interact or hijack uh, the thread by interacting with each other. Uh, and um, you'll have some cool features like a countdown timer as well as a place to capture an email. And uh, these are all free tools. So I just hope you find this cool. hope you find this useful. The first step in all this is to first uh, install, you know, you got to install WordPress. If you're uh, new to this, you may want to look up a YouTube video on how to install WordPress onto your server. There's a ton of videos on YouTube, so that's all available to you. Next thing you want to do is look up a free premium one-page WordPress theme. Uh, the one that I am going to show you and demonstrate in this video, you can just do a search for 20 free premium one-page WordPress themes. You'll come to this page here on WP Lava, and you scroll down. You can use any one of these, but the one that I recommend you use just for this purpose, because it's simple, fast, and it'll do what we need it to do, is this fifth one, placeholder. Okay. Okay, so there's the placeholder theme. Um, what you want to do is, uh, if you want to see what it looks like, this is the live demo. Essentially, what the theme looks like. Uh, let's see here. Without this, without this bottom portion here. Let me see if we can find it without that, without that extra stuff. There we go. That's what I was looking for. So as, yeah, this is actually the the demonstration. This is the bare bones of what it looks like. And basically, what I want to do is show you how to make use of this to to do like a, a mini webinar style uh, kind of kind of page that you can use to host webinars of any sort. Okay. So when all is said and done, what your page is going to end up looking like is something like this here. Okay, it's going to have a little uh, header uh, copy. Um, this is actually a YouTube Hangout video, a little uh, title. They'll be able to contact you. You don't necessarily need an RSS feed, but I guess you could have that. It'll have this cool countdown timer and a place for them to opt in and a chat area where they can chat with you, but not with each other. So I hope you find this useful. So once you've installed WordPress, what you want to do is uh, go to your uh, go to this page here, download this placeholder theme, right? And once you've downloaded that to your computer, what you want to do is go to Appearance, Themes. And then you want to go to Install Themes. Uh, it's obviously already installed on this one, but then you click on up Upload when, if, if it has not already been installed. And then you click on Choose File and Install Now. Once you've done that, you'll be taken right back to this screen right here. Uh, th I think there'll be a, an option for you to activate the theme and then once you've done that you can click on customize Oops, excuse me not customize you want to go to um, over here you'll have this new uh, sort of menu pop up you click on placeholder excuse me and then you'll be brought to this general settings page and then this, this uh, blue setting will actually be on default uh, you can select any one of these I like the blue one and then for the custom logo, because as you see here, there's this placeholder logo. You want to replace that, right? It just says just another placeholder theme. What we want to do is use our own logo. So for this, uh, what I suggest you do is go to jackmize.com. This is my buddy Jack. He's got some great stuff. He's taught me a lot. What you want to do is go to uh, free tools. Go to Sales Graphics Wizard and use this headline creator. Click on next step there. What you'll do is you'll have text, and what you want to do is you can uh, edit this right there on the fly. Attention all struggling marketers. You can put something like attention all local business owners or something. You know, if maybe you're targeting one specific niche, uh, then you can replace the text here you can add some cool graphics and once you have everything the way you kind of want it once you have the wording reading what you'd like you have your little doodles and arrows drawn and the colors that you want um, what you want to do is uh, click on save graphic just left click on that just click it it'll download what you uh, have written in here 
Um, once that is done, this will be saved to your hard drive, right? I'm going to go make sure you click on Upload. Find out where you have that file and just simply drop it here or select it. You can either drag and drop or you can just select it and upload it. Okay, so once that has taken place, it'll be loaded right here. You'll see a little uh, thumbnail of it. Okay, and you can leave everything else alone there. Then what you want to do is click on, I'm not sure if you need anything from the styling options. You need introduction. You can put in an intro header. Make sure that this uh, enable intro is enabled with the little checkbox in there. Uh, that section is this portion here. That's uh, that includes. Um, I'm sorry. It includes this part right here, as well as the video itself. So this is what this intro he header area is. Uh, once you en entered in your intro heading, then what you want to do is you want to actually have the video that's going to be live, your live streaming hangout video, which everybody can watch so that everybody can actually see your webinar, right? You get that from Google Plus. So you got to make sure you have a Google Plus account or a Gmail account, which uh, then you want to enable Google Plus. So that's at plus.google.com. Once you've done that, you simply go over to the right here, click on Start a Hangout. And we'll call this one, uh, you can't use a public or extended circles, but you can call this one, you can use your circles, your, your circles, excuse me. And then uh, you want to name this hangout, name it whatever the title of the hangout is. Test. You want to enable the hangout. Okay, okay, got it. Then you simply click hangout. And if you have your camera and it's working, mine tends to work on and off here. You'll either see your video, your face, or you're going to see um, the video streaming, a, you know, a shot of you. And it's probably a good thing that it's not uh, showing a shot of me right now. <laughs> um, you click on embed here, right? You grab this code, copy it, go back to your placeholder theme, and you want to simply embed it right over here. Okay, what I did was I added these center tags. So I added this portion right here, center along with the closing center tag um, and that actually squares it up okay save that and then you want to make sure that this portion is live over here the um, this email newsletter so, so that you can actually cap you know capture some uh, emails so for opt-ins so make sure that that is enabled right here and then you, you know, I just simply entered enter email to receive updates and I left that as submit button uh, click on save all changes then you want to go to countdown and with the countdown you just label the countdown heading uh, which is this portion right here our webinar will be live on and I like put in the launch date you want to put the whatever date that's going to be as well as whatever time you'd like that to be. That's in a 24-hour format, so anything before 12 is going to be the morning. Anything after 12 is obviously the afternoon. Save those changes. And you have one final thing to do is add a plugin. The plugin that you're going to add is called ClickDesk. So when I recommend, you might find one that's better. This is the one we're using in this video. You search for the plugin, ClickDesk. Search plugins. You'll find ClickDesk Live Support, four stars. Install that one. Activate it. And as soon as it's been activated, you'll see this portion come on over here. Make sure you click on that. And then you can watch this tutorial, but let me just show you how I do it quickly. Go to ClickDesk Dashboard. The, the free option uh, is essentially all you'll need. And once you uh, install the plugin, you'll, you're going to have to actually add a department. So you'll click on install plugin. And, you know, this has already been kind of pre uh, set up already because I had this stuff all kind of saved. But you simply enter, you know, follow the prompts. It's real easy. Uh, you enter your name, the, and then you can use one of the. Uh, um, let me see here if you can edit it and all. What you do is add operator. You just follow the steps up here. You click on this add operator one. And that you add the full name, your nickname, email address, and it'll ask you which one of these accounts are you using. You want to use Google Talk. You can also use Skype. Uh, I like Google Talk. You put in your Google Talk 
email, just the uh, the, the Gmail front half. You don't add the at symbol because it's already there, or the Gmail. And then for simultaneous chat sessions, you can't do anything with the free one. You can leave that alone. And you simply click Add Operator, which will bring you back to that other screen that you saw. And then you click on Add Department and Install Plugin. Click on Install Plugin. And once you've done that, this portion right here is what you'd see. This little box will appear. And when the webinar goes live, they can click Play. They may see your face. They may not. Um, but they'll definitely be able to hear you. Uh, you want to make sure these settings are configured right. You know, I might have to double check and see what's uh, going on with mine. Um, but yeah, this is what they'll see, and they'll be able to interact with you. They'll be able to send you messages via this live chat. Uh, and there is how you make a webinar, a duct tape webinar, for free. Hope you enjoyed it. And follow me on Google Plus if you'd like more free stuff.